Hello, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to talk about lawn trimmers and I'm going to explain to you why your string trimmer line won't feed. So the very first thing I'm going to talk to you about is maybe you got the wrong string size. It's got to be the right diameter thickness. Now with this lawn trimmer, it's a steel FS38 and it requires a two millimeter or 0 0.08 of an inch thickness of line. I won't try anything else. I just keep to the recommended thickness of line. And if you want to know how to respool the line on your still FS38, I have a video that will be down in the description below. And at the end of this video, that will show you exactly how to do that, how easy it is. So you want to remove the head. So you just want to undo the bump cap. Turn it clockwise, counterclockwise. And you got your spool. And your spring in behind. So here's the head. Maybe it needs to be all cleaned out in here. You can see this one's a little dirty, but that's nothing. So I'm going to clean it all as well while I have it apart, but it's not that dirty. Another thing you may want to check for is damage. There is, you see all these here on the spool? Well, there's corresponding uh, parts, I guess you would call it, uh, grooves that goes along with this. And they may be wore out. Uh, your spool may be wore out. You got to check all these things. And another thing is maybe your spring is broken. If so, you should get yourself a new spring because that'll stop the line from feeding out as well. So basically that's it. It could be a broken spring, could be broken or worn out spool or the head itself. Maybe the bump cap isn't working. I don't know how that would break, but it's possible, I guess. So all these are all things that could go wrong and that is not allowing for your line to feed out of your lawn trimmer. Okay, we'll go ahead and put everything back together. So we'll put the head on first. Then we'll put our spring in and just push on it and it'll stay in place. And then we'll put the spool back on. Just push on it, turn and it kind of stays there. And then you got your bump cap, put it on. And then just pull your string like that. And now you can see everything works good. And that's how you put it back together. So just to recap, you just take that head off, check if it's dirty, make sure any parts aren't worn or broken. Use the correct diameter of string and make sure that spring is in good shape and you should be all right. So I'm gonna go in and have a coffee now. Don't forget to watch the video at the end where I show you how to easily string the Steel FS38. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.